everyone, this is Joan from the Brown Dragonfly. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. It has been just a quick minute since I've um, done a video. Um, I was gone for a couple weeks last month, but I did um, get this journal completed. It was a collaboration between Line Dot Arrow and Nonstop Paper Crafts for the month of March. Um, but like I said, I was gone for two weeks, so I did start this journal before I left. Um, and then um, I've spent a couple weeks after I returned home um, to work on this, and I really have enjoyed this. Uh, Suzanne and Natalie uh, worked together and each had uh, kits um, for this collaboration. They also did it in sepia and black and white. I will list all of those um, kits below so that if you want to go check it out you can. I am on Natalie's design team but this is not an official design team project since I wasn't able to be here and get it done in time but I still wanted to take part in this and just show everyone what I did and because it's a collaboration and there's so many pages um, there was uh, several other Facebook groups that participated in the challenges and they each had um, exclusive freebies. So with all those freebies, that's like yet another kit um, that you know you could have just just from getting the freebies from the different groups. But anyway, um, this is kind of like the Christmas collaboration. It is a large spine. It's three inches. There's four signatures. Um, but I really didn't know how else to. <laughs> How else to make it? So um, here we are with a big journal. So here's the top. There is still a little bit of room for growth in here. If someone um, wanted to use this, there's plenty of room for writing and for pictures. I do tend to make my journals, um, you know, more for writing and memory keeping. Um, I limit I guess how much extra stuff I put in the signatures just so that it will lay flatter and that you know a lot of uh, stuff can be written in. Um, I keep a personal journal myself um, so that's how what I try to create. So anyway let's get started here. Okay so this journal has 160 pages it is eight inches high by five and three quarters inches wide. And like I said, it has the three inch spine. It is made from a cereal box with three different panels. And these, the front and back panel is attached to the spine with some Ada cloth. Ada cloth is uh, what you use when you are cross stitching. Um, so it made a nice, uh, way to, to bend the front and back cover and it helps it to lay down a little bit nicer. Um, I did do a uh, wrap around here, a removable cover. This is one of the pages from the kit and I just cut it down um, a little bit shorter. So sorry, I keep yawning. Um, I just cut it down a little bit shorter and but the length is the same um, and scored the lines to accommodate the spine and then just added um, I did add these two pieces of the fabric that I used for the cover to use as a closure and I just made um, just a little ruffle and cluster here um, to decorate the front but that's completely removable so that when you're working in your journal, you won't have anything um, banging around. So anyway, let's open her up and take a look. So on the inside, I just it's just um, some craft paper that's covering the front and back and the spine. Uh, the spine, I mean, the signatures are sewn directly into the spine. In the front and back, I have, well, let me just say, this lace, um, I was very happy to receive a package this last week from Two Sister Jam, and I had a great selection of laces. I don't know if I can show you some. Here's some here. 
not this one, but I got a selection of laces and I got this yellow one too. Here's the yellow one that I used for the pockets. And then I got some paper. So you're gonna see in here some music paper, ledger paper, and that came from Two Sister Jam. Um, I will link their store below. They have wonderful things in their shop and you would be happy to go check it out. So anyway, this pocket, there's one in the front and back. It is this yellow lace. It is backed with vellum. I think I learned that from Carol Laws. That way it makes it a little bit sturdier and things slide in and out easier. I took one of the pages from the kit, one of the sepia pages. It's just some um, sunflowers. And I glued it to a piece of the fabric that matches the cover and made this envelope. There are two journal cards inside. This is a piece from the, one of the pages from the kit. Well, so this is also, they both are. I use the pages sometimes as part of the embellishments. I'll print them more than once. So let's just start flipping through here. I loved all the pages, got a cluster here. Um, this was a beautiful kit. Well, both, all kits were beautiful. All the pages are gorgeous. Um, here's a vellum, printed on vellum, um, coffee dyed paper. Um, Edith Holden book page. I always want to say Elizabeth for some reason. Here is the ledger paper that was from Two Sister Jam. Here is, and this I followed uh, Stacy Merritt from Stacy's Crafty Jam. Um, she did a video and it was for a collaboration for another um, YouTube channel uh, and it's a wrap around. Um, so I followed her uh, tutorial and made my own for this using these papers. Um, there was a lot of mason jars so uh, I just have a base that is uh, a cardstock, and then I just added all these things. This ruffle is from Two Sister Jam. I ha I've had this metal piece for a long time in my stash, so I was glad to use it. So this is all just one uh, belly band, and then this card I made to go in is from uh, one of the pages from the kit. And then you get to this side, um, this does uh, come undone if you wanted to open it. Um, you could even put a couple of small pictures or something here and here. This is an envelope that was in the kit and I actually printed this on vellum and then I glued it to a piece of coffee dyed paper. And then here is a film strip. Now, the film strips uh, is a challenge that uh, Natalie and Line Dot Arrow did um, for this month. Um, it was part of her photographer's kit. However, I added pieces from this Buzz into Spring kit and just made it more uh, geared towards my journal here. So those are fun. Those are freebies on Natalie's uh, Kofi site. Oops, put it the wrong way so you can't see it in the window. Because there is a window right here. It's vellum, so it's not as uh, clear, but you can see it through there. And this just goes back in here. And you really don't have to undo this. It'll slide in and out. All right, let's continue on. And I have a few little ladybugs that I've added to my ruffles. This is one of the, the other side of the ledger paper. Um, I did get some, um, when I was in Colorado last month, I did get a bundle of stuff from the 1940s-ish um, time period. So this is one of the pictures of the baby and this is a card or a tag and I thought it was kind of funny because this 
tag has this vine on it already and I thought well I'm well and I didn't even think about that but I wanted to instead of putting fabric or lace or something at the top I thought well I'm going to use one of these flowers because I hadn't um, used them they were one of the freebies that came out when I was uh, out of town and then I put it on and realized that it uh, joined right with the the um, oh gosh the stem and it just looks like a, the regular flower. But anyway, I thought that was funny. It was cute. And then this is a uh, an envelope made from book page. Uh, I was inspired to do these um, from Diane Thomas. Um, that's the name of her YouTube channel. You should check her out. Um, they're just a very simple... Uh, pocket and then um, she uh, covered them with lace so I just added another little embellishment um, this is one of the jars from the kit and it's back so you can use as a journaling card the other side of the vellum and then these are some little tiny uh, little well, they're little sacks, I guess, that I, I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, and so I used one and just uh, put in this little tag and just added some embellishment. And I had also gotten a pack of um, these textured papers. So there's a bunch of different um, stuff here. So it was fun to have these little pieces to work with as well. Another vellum page. This was, uh, I think the first challenge for March was um, stuff jars or something like that. So I just took one jar and made a pocket and put another little um, jar inside. Another little ladybug. Another cluster. And this is the music paper I got from Two Sister Jam. And then we also had these magnifying glass. Maybe this was the first uh, challenge that month um, to make your magnifying glass, which I did. And there is a butterfly on this side if you were to look. Um, so I just used a brad so it could move and put a tag in here. And then this is just to cover the brad, the back side of the brad. So I just did a little tuck spot here. Another pocket with um, uh, one of the jars and a tag. Ruffle, vellum, pocket. Um, my kids got me for Christmas. Um, I've been wanting to do some wax seals, so my oldest got me um, all the stuff I needed. And it's actually like a hot glue gun and the wax comes out of the gun instead of having to melt it. I really kind of like that idea. Um, so here is another um, jar that's like a journal card. And then here's one that's just plain. And then this I did right after I first um, got the package from Two Sister Jam. I This sack, actually, I got tacos in uh, Monday morning that I did this, and it was a small sack, so I just folded it in half. Um, it's a little bit hard to see, but this is tissue paper from, let's see, I have some right here. Excuse my reach. This is what my order came in from uh, Two Sister Jam. So I just took some of this paper and uh, used a glue stick and covered this uh, little sack on the outside. Just did a little decorating. Then in this front part is where the sack opens. So I have a little card in here. 
And then there is a little tiny envelope with a tag. And then the back, this is where the flap of the sack is. So I just have a little card in here. And then just it's just a little booklet with coffee dyed papers. And I just attach that here in the middle just because it's bigger. It doesn't fit in any pockets or anything. So... And here, uh, the, these are, I watched uh, Witchcraft Do You Do, and she made, she used uh, the brown wrapping uh, paper, the packaging paper, and I just had coffee dyed paper, so I made the little uh, bag this way, and then embossed, um, and I made this card, journaling card, to go inside. But this idea came from Witchcraft Do You Do. And it is a flip, so you could put a picture here or do writing or have a hidden spot. Another ruffle with a ladybug. Music paper. And this goes along with the challenge that was the with the magnifying glasses um, to put uh, the hole in the paper and then you have something to view. Um, so I just, uh, this is more of the textured paper that I had gotten, so I just decorated here, and then I added another flower here so that when you turn the page, you can see that. And then here is another magnifying glass with, you know, just a couple fussy cuts. This is a pocket that I just made out of an orange file folder, and then I just made this tag to go inside. This was inspired by uh, Be Reborn Art and Healing. Um, Cara Renee. Um, this is just a single sheet from the kit. Um, and you just uh, split it so that when you take it out, you still have your whole photo here or page. But then it's actually a pocket. I did do mine, um, I backed it with some card just to make it sturdier. So we have this card that goes in first. And then I have this um, tag to go right in front. And then the last signature, I promise I'm almost done. Another one of these pockets with an embossing folder. Here's the card that I made, journaling card, to go inside. It's just backed with a book page, blank book page. Another flip. Another ruffle with a ladybug. Ledger paper. I love this ledger paper, too. It's super thick. I didn't have to worry about um, it breaking when I, when I folded it. Um, and here is another uh, from the Fill Your Jar Challenge. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but it does have um, plastic over the top, so it's like an actual jar, and then I just have flowers inside. And I really liked how this turned out. Um, I like the plastic on top and the realistic look of the jar. Here is a... Edith Holden page and there's just a pocket here with a couple tags here is another one of the book page envelopes with the lace and here is another mason jar card to go inside part of the ledger paper that folded and uh, there, this card to go inside the journaling card And then another thing that I received from Two Sister Jam was this old piece of paper. Um, this is what I have left. Um, it's from an old photo album and it has the little black um, uh, corner pieces to hold the photos in. And I just thought it was really interesting. So I had gotten that stuff from the antique mall, the pictures and ephemera and stuff from the 40s. And so I took two of the pictures 
and I, I just took a strip of this. It just so happened that these pictures fit into where these uh, corners were. So I just put the pictures in, folded it in half to make an over the page, um, you know, pocket. So this little girl, um, actually know her name is Justine. And behind here, I did glue a little bit here just so it wasn't floppy. So I have this little um, card here that goes in this pocket. And then when you get to this side, there is this jar, has a little dangle. Well, I actually secured it with a, whatever these are called, eyelet. Um, I had, there was a couple little pieces in the kit that I actually covered with um, packing tape just to make them shiny. So that's what that is. And then it just so happens by accident, I, when I was gluing this on, I did it over two pages. And I was like, oh no, what do I do? So I just made a pocket. So we have a pocket here right in the middle and then I made this card um, to go inside. And I just love this card. And again, oh, this one's not with tape, but it is a little uh, dangle there. This has some of the little textured paper that I have been using. Anyway, I really like this card. So that was a happy accident. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, if I didn't have the pocket, I wouldn't have made this card. So I'm glad that turned out well. And we are almost to the end. And then in the back, just a cluster. And I have this big tag. And these are covered with paper. So I just made, um, I mean, they're covered with the packing tape. So I just um, put those together with a bulb pin and attach it to the top for the back pocket. And that, my friends, is my Buzz into Spring journal. Um, I will have this for sale in my Etsy store uh, later today or tomorrow. Um, I will also link below the kits that I used. I will link to Sister Jam. You must check out their shop. And um, within a couple weeks, I should be back again and showing you another creation I've made. So I hope everyone is doing well. Please take care, and I will see you again next time. Thank you so much.